Well, hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Lion Plays The Binding of Isaac. Last run, man, that was like maybe the most up and down Isaac run I've ever had. I mean, mind you, I wasn't playing as Isaac, I was playing as Samson. Still, from crushing lows to minor highs to soul crushing lows to a relatively good result in the end. I, uh,. I tried to play up the drama there a little bit more than was uh, likely, but you should go back and watch that one. It's uh, it's an aberration when it comes to Isaac. It is not your your average, you know, mom's knife brimstone run. I did have brimstone, but don't hold that against me. Trust me when I say that it barely worked uh, and probably only worked because I did have brimstone in the first place. Okay, taking red hard damage makes me feel like a big piece of garbage, but that's okay. We don't need to get a deal with the devil necessarily on the first floor. So Peeper's Eye, supposedly, only makes your tier red. It doesn't actually give you extra damage. Uh, it does, of course, give you the Peeper's Eye that floats around, but that's rerollable. Book of Sin sucks, but at least if we find a library later, then that's good for us. Uh, maybe shouldn't have picked up that Spirit Art until the end of this floor, but eh, I think it's fine. That's <laughs> all of my uh, misgivings can just be, you know, turned away with a hand wave and like, ah, don't worry about it. It's okay. Uh, it, it probably is fine. You know, we could still give ourselves a deal with the Devil Chance. Um, no matter when we take it. It's looking increasingly likely like we might have a shot at actually getting something from the shop on this floor. Which would actually be, I mean we only have five cents, let's not get ahead of ourselves, but that would be amazing because obviously we lose out on one safe shop, one guaranteed safe shop at least, uh, as a result of the fact that we're on an XL floor. So, this would be really nice if we could actually swing this in such a way that, um, we can actually get something from the shop. Probably on average don't get anything until the third shop anyway, so to be able to get something on the first floor is above average in multiple different ways. So Game Kid sucks equally as bad, pretty much, as uh, Book of Sin. We could use Game Kid to maybe, you know, clear out one room for us. I'm gonna pick up Bloody Lust. I know it's a special item, I know it augments our pool, I know it's not everybody, anybody's favorite special item. But, hey, coming from a run where I just had it, uh, I'm already substantially better off than I was on that run, despite having only gone to like two item rooms so far. And what was the big deal on the last run? Why was it so bad? Well, very few deals with the devil. Just just the one sucked because it didn't give me a chance to actually uh, steal any deals with the devil as a result of uh, nine lives, which I was lucky enough to pick up on the first floor. Otherwise, we would have died for sure. First deal with the devil room anyway. Um, but mostly, it was the fact that every single boss room, none of them gave me a single HP. I got one HP on that entire run, and it was from my second play of a blood bank, which I never expected. Anyway, that run's over. This run's just beginning. I don't think we're gonna be able to find a secret room here, but gave it a try anyway. We're getting a surprising amount of rerolls. I think this floor is turning out fairly nice for us so far. I also like the the Michael Sarah type thing we got going on here, you know, with our uh, headband. It's kind of like if I played Michael Sarah in a movie, which probably won't happen for a number of reasons. He is. Is he Canadian? I don't know why I want to say he's Canadian. Maybe it was because he was in. Scott Pilgrim, which was filmed in Toronto. He might not be. I, I don't. I don't know. I don't care. What does it matter? We we Canadians are too defensive. Whenever it comes up, like, oh, you know, I was watching Tom Green the other day. Did Tom Green's Canadian? Did you know that? Did you know Tom Green's Canadian? We bred him. He's our stock. You know, it's just a very Canadian thing to do. That's the real Canadian stereotype. If I may be honest, um, that's not the greatest turn of events for us right there. That's the real Canadian stereotype. It's not necessarily politeness, although are we more polite than average? I would say probably yes. Um, the real Canadian stereotype is knowing all actors and singers and artists who uh, are Canadian. And additionally, knowing everything about the War of 1812 because we quote unquote beat the Americans in it. That's us. Anyway, I love you my Canadian brethren. We gotta, you know, act like you've been there before, right? Confidence is, uh, is quiet sometimes. There is a ladder in our shop. Was that what that was? It was a ladder, I think. Ladder's not that good. I don't think we need it. We made that mistake on a, a previous run to actually buy the ladder. If we're gonna have to fight Envy on the first floor, shit dude, I'm real psyched that we at least have rage so we can build up uh, some damage to speed it up a little bit. I'm really hoping we don't lose our spirit heart though. I'm a little bit wary about it. We're very lucky that we got more than enough keys. Like. We still have two keys left over. We've opened everything, including one golden chest. Attack fly. Give me a attack fly here. It's our, my time to shine. Wow. A single live bomb. Well, what do we reroll? I think we still... 
save our reroll. We probably take Harlequin Baby at this point. We've already exhausted so many rerolls on this floor. We've gotten very lucky. Maybe we actually... Shit, we might be able to reroll Harlequin Baby. I didn't think it was going to happen, but uh, it's looking increasingly likely here. But maybe we'll reroll the ladder instead if we can find the secret room. Which is pretty unlikely. But I'm going to give it my all, because if we get enough money to actually get something, uh, then I'd rather reroll the ladder and take Harlequin Baby with me. We have enough bombs to feel okay about this. Come on. Three cents. I'm not convinced yet. I think we reroll Harlequin Baby. Unfortunately. We, we'll still get one more reroll. If we get lucky, we might be able to use it on the shop. If we get like a pageant boy or something from one of the bosses, but it's pretty unlikely. So, Harlequin Baby, not that useful. If we end up getting an active item, no skin off my scrote. Charm of the Vampire sucks. We're not going to take that. Would have been better off rerolling the ladder. God damn it. Okay, well... You know, we gotta do what we gotta do. Now I really want to reroll Charm of the Vampire, but it's very unlikely that we're gonna be able to do that. Why don't I like Charm of the Vampire? I'd like to be able to manage my hearts, keep them at half heart intervals whenever possible. And uh, the permanent Polaroid invincibility is typically more valuable than whatever, you know, pittance of HP we might generate from, uh, from Charm of the Vampire. Very comfortable floor so far. Very long floor, which is nice because it's... Uh, Gives us plenty of opportunities to uh, get things like, for example, oh, that's such awful damage, uh, like the staggering amount of spirit arts we have for this point relative to the, the game. So the rage gets built like crazy from that bomb that killed like eight flies. We'll actually end up gaining some health on this room, but we did take damage. I hope that doesn't get health against us for deal with the devil stuff. I'm going to take pageant boy, man. That's not our number one target for a reroll. This allows us to buy the ladder or reroll it. I don't know if I would rather reroll the ladder or reroll Charm of the Vampire. I think I would rather reroll Charm of the Vampire, but we're probably going to end up rerolling a deal with the devil if it shows up. Um, but if we don't, then I would rather reroll Charm of the Vampire, not buy the ladder, and just be content to not take anything from the shop on this floor. I know it's a little bit of a cop out, probably sounds a little bit sad, a little bit of a compromise, but uh, I think it's it's the right course of action. It's the best it's the best win for us. I'm very happy with the way this floor has gone so far, though. Like, just... Oh, no. No, 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 no. Don't do me dirty like that. No deal with the devil. Am I going to go through with it? Am I going to reroll... I'm going to reroll Charm of the Vampire. Fuck you, Charm of the Vampire. What was the proper course of action? Probably take Harlequin Baby, reroll the ladder twice. Yeah. Yeah, that's probably it. It wasn't the map or something, right? Like, I'm not going crazy. Because I would rather just buy the map. Here we go. Charm of the Vampire. Poison Touch. So, it's it's not a win. It's not a loss. It's kind of a wash, really. Poison Touch, probably better than Harlequin Baby. Especially super late game. Uh, oh, well. We probably could have handled this floor slightly better, but... We got Rage, we got Poison Touch, we've got enough money and keys to do whatever we want on the next floor. We got an HP upgrade. We're not going to buy the ladder. I'm relatively pleased with the way this went down. Yeah, yeah I am. I fucked my deal with the Devil Chances by taking damage against Pin, which is just embarrassing, but... Uh, apart from that, this is a, it gives us a pretty healthy start for earning deals with the Devil later, you know? We've got four Spirit Hearts. Probably not going to lose those uh, before we fight our next boss. Hopefully it's just a single floor. Hopefully it's caves, not catacombs. And then uh, that's good for us. So down to the next floor. And it is caves, and it is caves part one. So it's not an XL floor. That guarantees us one more uh, safe shop here. Not necessarily a good shop, but a safe shop. And we're definitely going to be stronger than the enemies we're facing now. Especially after we kill a couple of them. And there's our boss room right off the bat. So, rerolls are going to orient uh, perfectly here. And then we're going to figure out if we're in the... If we're in the chosen group that's actually going to get a deal with the devil. Or if the game is going to say, F you, no deals with the devil. But at least we got HP. We barely got HP or deals with the devil on the last run. We got zero HP. We got one deal with the devil. Why, why combine them? Doesn't make any darn sense. Alright, here's what I'm thinking. Throw one of these bad boys in there. Break them up a little early. Give us a little bit of rage build up here as we start splitting them. Get the bomb flies, get the chain reactions. Whatever dregs are left, they get exploded. By our delicious rage popsicle here. Rage popsicle, by the way, 
not a good name for your penis. I'm just going to tell you that right out the bat. You should know that in advance. You shouldn't need me to say it. it. Brings up all sorts of uncomfortable implications. Now, oh, be careful here. It's going to be an easy, easy win if I just don't get hit by a bomb fly like an asshole. Be cool. That's good. And we're safe. Deal with the devil. I'm not going to take the HP yet. Just in case we got nine lives, which we didn't. So I think I'm going to take the mark. And I know we could take Guppy's tail, try to become Guppy, but I think I'm just going to reroll this. So I'm not, I'm not going to use Guppy's paw, but I am going to take it. There's probably a bunch of really smart people out there right now saying, See, you should have picked up Guppy's tail, and then when you rerolled it, <laughs> wait a minute, you can't reroll Guppy's tail. Um, would I rather have Guppy's tail than Guppy's paw? Probably, yes. I mean, because Guppy's paw is worthless for us, right? Um, at least as of right now, except for it's, it's Guppiness, which we would have gotten from Guppy's tail anyway. But it's not the end of the world. We're not rolling in keys anyway, so I'm content with that. I took it. I, I took Guppy's paw because I know we have HP. I could have kept my D6 by taking it, which we did, obviously. Um, and I knew we had the stem cells when we came out, so I, I was not going to lose out too badly on it. I think we can afford to use a key here, even if... Uh, that's a really good item. Even if there was a, uh, a way to bomb our way into the room from here. I think this is a smarter way to handle it. Anyway, long story short, I'm content in our decisions there. We'll more aggressively pursue curse rooms in the future. Our HP is low enough that I wouldn't feel bad about taking nine lives and becoming guppy that way. And... Um, I'm super stoked that not all our eggs are in one basket. We also have Rage and the Mark, which allows us to be relatively confident in the damage that we're dealing, even if we don't end up picking up a, a Guppy item. Or becoming Guppy, I should say. So, this shop is important. We'll have one reroll. Unless it has the 9 volt in it, in which case... Well, I guess we'll need something to reroll in that case. Disregard. Uh, okay. Inside we find the compass. Beautiful. Very uh, palatable item to get, for sure. Got a reroll save, just in case we would like to use it on our mob trap room. Which we can totally access, because we have way more than full health right now. Guardian Angel, very happy to have. Nice little orbital augmenter there, which is a great name for some kind of device in a science fiction book. Try it out. Budding Orson Scott cards amongst ye. Let's come out here and see what we've got going on in uh, the mob trap room. Well, a ah, little bit of money. Honestly, I'm not that salty about the money because uh, I'm happy to have it. We were a little bit low on money after purchasing the compass. We don't have money equals power or anything. So uh, we were a little bit low on money. I'm happy to get some more. Maybe we'll be able to make our next shop worthwhile as well. We're only a few cents away. So we're up to 11 cents now. And very, very comfortable thus far. Low on HP. But spirit hearts are, are, you know, mitigating that that worry a little bit. Not the best start on this wave. It's okay. One's dead. Ooh, move it out a little. There we go. Rage is enough to two-shot these guys now, which is a nice position to be in. And an extra key to finish it off, too. I'm glad we went through the trouble. Now, possible second secret rooms. I think this is our time to strike here. Relatively linear floor. Okay. I see another four possible locations, and we only have three bombs. So this could end up going terribly, terribly wrong. But I think it's worth trying. Come on. Oh, no. Don't do me dirty like that. Now there's now it's a 50% chance that we get it. Although I guess, you know, still we have the same percentages from before. I'm going to try here. Work with me. Oh, that hurts real bad. Oh, well. Our luck has to run out at some point, right? Can't win them all. Maybe this is the way to our boss room? Yeah, it's looking like that might indeed be the case. Now, don't... Fuck these guys, man. Two spirit arts down the drain already. Why did I say fuck these guys when I could have possibly dodged them? The way their AI allows them to split at the start and actually approach you from two different directions is... Genius, but also bullshit. Much like Carl Pilkington, I guess. Now, what are we gonna do? We're just gonna... Just gonna take damage, I guess. That's how we're gonna live the rest of our lives here. I'm not. I'm still not too worried about our position right now. Oh, close dodge there. Uh, I will be worried if we don't get a deal with the devil here. I'll start to get a little bit more anxious. If we get a shitty item from the boss and no deal with the devil, that'll suck. If we get like a range upgrade, 
I guess I would just re-roll it in that case, wouldn't I? So I think we're still okay. We'll just be cool here. Oh, this is this is potentially amazing. This is probably the best chance one could ask for for uh, becoming Guppy. Maybe get a Guppy item right here, and then a Guppy item on the deal with the devil. Might might welcome nine lives at this point. Sacrifice a little bit of HP for the uh, the chance to get nine times as many lives as we currently have. Rage doesn't build on that uh, that first break. We just learned because normally our tears turn red after our first enemy kill. Right now, if you've been watching closely, and they didn't turn red after this. I know that's not necessarily always indicative of damage, but in this case, I think it is. I think. So our damage is a little bit low, you know. We learned this on the last run, or we acknowledged this on the last run. Guess I take some dumb damage there. The um, shitty thing about fighting the Fallen, if you're Samson or you have Rage, is that you don't build any Rage until um, you kill the first enemy, I guess. Ooh. You should be dead. And we get Luckfoot, but a deal with the Devil opportunity. It won't kill me if I take it, will it? I think I have to re-roll it. If I pick it up, it might kill me. So I re-roll it. Okay, there we go. We take nine lives. Um, don't be mad, okay? You're gonna be mad. I took Brimstone as well. We took it on the last run. We've got a very similar run happening here. But this time, we're gonna go for the big fish. We're gonna go for, uh... We're gonna go for Isaac and Blue Baby. Not for just Satan. Just a little baby Satan run. <laughs> Careful here. So yes, I can understand if you're like, well, this is the same run you did last time. Not quite. We also still have a very good chance to become Guppy. We only need one more Guppy item, and we're going to be able to reroll Luckfoot. I don't love the thought of rerolling Luckfoot. Luckfoot's pretty good. Can really help us out in some situations, but in our current situation, I think it's the right thing to do. Also, our damage is actually like adequate, which we did not really experience on the last run. By the way, if you're saying you took Brimstone twice in a row, that's a Betrayal of uh, our interest is, uh, you know, your interest in us as fans. Not really, because that last run we barely made work with Brimstone. It wasn't like I stomped the game or anything like that. So, this is, a, again, necessity is the mother of invention, man. We gotta try to make this work this way. Now, it's possible I could have egg on my face again. I still think this is the right decision, though. And I really, I still do think it's the right decision to not take... Maybe, oh, maybe it was the totally wrong decision to not take, uh... I'm just thinking about this. I maybe shouldn't have come in here. Uh, maybe it was the wrong decision to not take Guppy's head and then re-roll it. But I, I had these flashbacks that taking Guppy's head would kill me instantly. So I was like, well, if I could just get nine lives first, that would make me feel better. But maybe it, it... Maybe that was me being overly cautious. It's possible. Range upgrade is worthless right now, but we can't reroll it anyway. Unless we fight greed, which is pretty likely. Alright, well. Do we take the quarter, or do we uh, take the range upgrade? Or do we reroll the steam sail? Well, I think we take the steam sail. That's the best of our bad situations here. I think we take the range upgrade, and I think we reroll the quarter in the hopes of getting something better. And it should still be from the deal with the devil pool. We could reroll the library as well, but I think that's the worst possible outcome right now. I'm a, I'm a little bit scared. Our damage is pretty good. Our health is shitty. It's god awful. But we have rerolls. We didn't have rerolls when we were in this position on the Samson run. So I think this gives us this gives us good outs. But I would love to have a little bit more HP to be able to, you know, be more confident. I guess. Wonderful. So we got the quarter, which is fine. But, you know, you don't need a quarter and the steam sale. Uh, I think we've pretty much committed here to... Oh, that's so good. We've pretty much committed here to these libraries, so... Um, we might as well go to them. We're definitely going to go to the curse rooms as well. We might be able to get double item rooms out of these sooner rather than later. Especially with a 9 volt... Or, sorry, a nun's habit. Which, I mean, hopefully I don't get hit. But if I do get hit, at least we can make some good uses of them here. So we're going to irk our way... Irk? We're going to work our way down to our... Uh, Boss rooms as soon as possible here. Boss room, I guess. But in general, the, that's true as well. Careful. And I really want to redeem myself by... Uh, not that the last run was awful in its result, but uh, I want to redeem myself by getting a blue baby kill with the, the same setup we've got here. I thought we'd be able to get out of that one. No such luck. 
It's okay. Still got plenty of HP here. And to be honest, if we die, I mean, we'll respawn with uh, one red heart, which is not that much better or worse than uh, one and a half spirit hearts. It's pretty similar. So this should give us a cube of meat, which is actually quite nice. All things considered, I think the cube of meat will uh, help us out, especially with Guardian Angel. We really don't want to take damage if it's possible to avoid it. Let's get our reroll priorities set up here for the possibility of rerolling like a boss room here. What I worry about is getting a deal with the devil that only gives us spirit heart options from it. Because if that's the case, I don't know if we'll be able to take it with two and a half. We might be able to because nine lives would let us die. Oh, that's so good. Now I really wish we picked up Guppy's Tail instead of Guppy's Paw. And it seems like with Guppy's Tail, I always regret not picking it up. One day I'll learn my lesson there. Probably a couple of misplays with the whole Guppy thing here. But we could still have the Guppy items show up. Just because I've seen them doesn't mean they won't show up again in the future. I think. We've seen all four. But I've only got two. I got the best two, maybe, but... Doesn't mean too much right now. Alright, so Skeleton Key is so good. Never have to worry about keys again. Well worth the key we spent to open it. Oh, fucking Conquest. Are you serious? Are you even supposed to be able to fight Conquest on this floor? I don't think you're supposed to be able to. I should get in the safe spot next time. Conquest, do me a favor and drop a live bomb on that uh, Tinted Rock to allow me to get enough Spirit Hearts to possibly be able to get a deal with the Devil. This is the safety zone. We're not building much rage here. But we're staying safe. Stay alert, stay safe. It's important. Stay as far away from Conquest as you fucking can. Oh, good. Almost halfway through here. It's gonna be a long one. You wanna know more about that? You're gonna have to ask your mother. Just stay prepared here. This is very important. It's very, very important that we don't take damage here if we can avoid it. We're in the safe spot. Where you at, man? He came back. If I can just... <laughs> If I can just keep him doing these uh, beams of light from heaven, not shooting the, the purple stuff. Fuck. I was going to say then all we need to do is avoid those, the things he's shooting at us. Or like those himself, the doppelgangers. But um, I'm still very pleased with the way this fight has gone, to be honest with you. Until that moment right there, because we could easily die now. He got close enough to get winged by... Guardian Angel, what a great pun. What a terrific audience, but um... Come on, don't do this to me. Not now, not now, don't get... Got a little close there towards the end. We still got our cube of beat though, we didn't get a white pony, which is good, probably. Okay, okay, well it looks like we're probably gonna die. That's alright, we got nine more lives to, to make do. No deal with the devil, hurts, it hurts a great deal. Hoping we'll be able to go to that curse room, though. Rerolls. All right, Book of Belial. Not quite in double item room territory, I guess. But we've got to be pretty close. We got two of the same book there. Easy room, easy life. Easy room, easy life. Why this room first? Good question. Thank you. I don't have an answer in case that wasn't clear. That's not very helpful. <laughs> Uh, let's come down here to this arcade. This arc- whoa. I- I'm not sure what happened there. I think I might have just broken my fan, but that's okay. Reroll these. Oh, yes! Mom's Contact. Okay. Mom's Contact plus Brimstone. I don't know that I've ever had it before. It seems like one of the least effective ways to have Mom's Contact. But I will be super excited if it actually ends up, uh, working out even to, like, a- a one trillionth of its possible potential. Yeah, so the, why do I say that it's like one of the least effective way to have least effective ways to have mom's contact because you're not shooting very often and you know You have a percentage chance I think with each shot to actually work with mom's contact So you want to be shooting as many times as That's actually a good thing. I think yeah now I can go to the curse room and sacrifice a life um, Whereas before I would have had to sacrifice two so that that life was done anyway I was definitely gonna go to the curse room so that gives us a that gives us a big out there uh, mini mush is fine I took that um, mostly because of the speed, because I'm going to have to get rid of Goat Hoof. Kind of makes no sense. Probably shouldn't have taken that in hindsight. Uh, 
But I guess that saves rerolls for this other Shoop de Whoop over here, which is substantially worse. So I guess I can understand my own logic there. Quad Shot Brimstone makes your tears do a lot more damage, but it also takes 100 years to charge them. So I'd rather not, if I can avoid it at least. Secret room. Plenty of money. It's all right. We already had the steam sale, but it's nice nonetheless, I guess. Uh, we will get definitely another D6 charge. There's no question about that. It'd be really nice to get like a hanged man here so I didn't have to sacrifice a life to finish this, but no. Okay. Pills. Well, maybe we won't have to sacrifice a life. Ah, okay. Well, I'm glad I took a speed up now. That sucks. <laughs> We did get a reroll though, so we'll uh, we'll come back out and use this. I still think that was super important to go in there, just in case it was one of the remaining guppy items, right? I think it's an important thing to get sorted out here. Oh, I gotta move this fan over here. I think the Roomba pushed it too close to me. I smashed my elbow against it. Mostly just because I'm furious, obviously. There's there's our chocolate milk pickup. Quad shot chocolate milk brimstone was like some kind of nightmare enigma for me. So next floor. It would be nice to get a deal with the devil somehow, but let's be honest, it's unlikely. Still no bombs. Wow. Maybe I could have bought one on the secret room. They're on the shop, but whatever. Blue candle. Not good enough. Uh, because brimstone plus mom's contact is already super solid, I would much rather just pick up another way of augmenting my, um, my D6 charges, or alternatively, perhaps... Oh, we have an arcade, so we're going to get so many rerolls here. But um, alternatively... Compass? Oh, we already have compass. I meant map, actually. I looked at my screen and was like, do I have compass? Yes. And then I said compass, I guess, because I was thinking about it. And now I've said it so much that the word just holds no meaning for me. Scary, but gives us an earlier reroll. One more wave, and I guess I'll just die in the process. That was pretty foolish of me, but hey, we already got the item that was in there, so we can always use that for more generations if we have to. So, we're going to buy a blue candle, put it back down, reroll the crap out of it, pills. It's extremely tempting. We don't know, like, if we have good pills. We've seen some bad ones. Um, but if there's, like, health ups, man, that would be so useful. It really would be. But we'll we'll probably end up re-rolling it for more of a sure thing rather than a gamble. And I think that's the right choice. Jesus, he's fast. Thank God for Mom's contact here. If he reverses directions as soon as he comes out of this, I'm going to be pretty mad. That tears downgrade that I got is really frustrating, actually. <laughs> Has a like pretty serious effect on you with Brimstone. It really slows down the rate of what you fire. As you obviously are clear with, but still. Annoying. Okay. Reroll. Coin purse. Ladder. That's bad. That's not very good at all. Uh, work our way over towards our item room. I will sacrifice a life to go to the curse room for sure. I'd rather get like a teleport. I know that we might have a telepills in that pill purse, but, uh, well, we might have, I should say, because it's already been rerolled, but um, not worth it, I'd say. We'll get that bomb on the way back. Ooh, a little scary. This, this floor is not shaping up fantastically. It's like, it's a carbon copy of the last run, you know? It's a, it's a Xerox, it's a photocopy, it's a lithograph to use uh, all the, the words the kids use these days. We can always get more items later. Let's go back to the shop pool and get some items that uh, are less likely to show up in the future. Quite a small floor here too. Not too many reroll opportunities except for the fact that we have Nun's Habit plus a uh, Blood Bank, which if we got the HP upgrade would be like a mirror image of the last run. Mom's Purse. It's not good enough when we only have the Goat Hoof. That I don't... You know, turn up my nose and mom's purse uh, very easily. There are some trinkets that would make this game a lot easier for us right now. That was I had just like the thinnest of margins to actually escape there. Um, but I think, we again, we need to go for more of a sure thing. I don't know. Maybe we start re-rolling the hourglass instead and we can roll with mom's purse. I'm not totally convinced. So many rerolls available, though. It'd be a shame to compromise so quickly. Yeah, let's let's go balls deep on this shop here. Really want the map or a nine volt or nuns have it. Oh, we already have nuns have it. Battery, I guess I should say. Notched axe, definitely not what I was looking for there. Well then, 
Guess we'll take a little HP with us here. And we'll carry this down uh, to the arcade and we should be able to get a full charge maybe. If there's a couple more rooms down here. There's not many more items actually in the shop pool that we haven't seen yet. Ooh, that was a little scary. And another nickel. So we can gamble substantially on this arcade if we want to. And I do want to, but it's also tedious. Which is always, uh, those are the conflicting kind of priorities that I have. It's the right thing to do, but it takes a while. That's more along the lines of what I was looking for right there. An early payout with a red heart uh, allows us to... Let's play these once more just to maybe get back to full health. Ah, a pill? We don't know. It's a range upgrade. Beautiful with brimstone. That's super important, except, oh wait, no, it fucking is worthless. Great. Um, yeah, let's go back to that shop and reroll it a little bit. Well, once. Oh, we haven't seen what we got here. All right, we got nothing. Of course, uh, yeah, we'll reroll it again. Hopefully, get the map. Can't take the map away from us if we die. It's a portable slot machine. Well, it's actually like not very much faster at all than playing on the arcade, but it might be a little bit faster. Like, really, it's like once per second or so. So we can go through 34 cents pretty darn quickly here. All right, so we're going to do this. We're going to basically milk portable slot for all it's worth. Oh, man. The payouts are real. Might not use it ad infinitum. We're going to use it for a while here. Um, uh, we know what these are? Range upgrades. Fantastic. There should be an item in Isaac called the Pharmacist. Allows you to change pills into whatever you want. Might be a little bit overpowered in foresight, actually. Um, what about this one? Hey, that's good. Okay. Portable slot. This might be the first time I've ever used you effectively. So work with me here. There's another tears down pill. Come on. You're like, we're halfway done here, buddy. You gotta pay out with something better. That's good. We can use that to play the blood bank a little bit more. Give us some more rerolls. We don't have a D20 here, unlike the last run, so we can't just reroll the crap out of everything that gets dropped. The bombs are nice. We didn't need those. Okay. I can do this all day. Unfortunately, for everybody involved. Only two half red hearts pisses me off, but hey, we got a couple of spirit... Well, we got one spirit heart as well. And we just got another red heart and a key, which is worthless, but that's okay. A pretty fly, which is actually very nice. Gives us a full suite of orbitals now. And that's that. Okay. So we have plenty of stuff to get a reroll here. Yeah. Let's do it. Kind of tempted to come back in here, but... Oh, there's nothing in there anymore. Okay. So the spirit heart protects us a little bit. For better or for not any help whatsoever. Two more cents. That allows us to actually go back and buy that other half... Or that other full red heart back there. Should we need to? It's basically two cents for half of a reroll charge in our current situation. Let's go pick this up. We'll reroll portable slot one more time, and then I think we'll start generating rerolls that we can use on other rooms. We really should probably reroll the hourglass. But we're, we're running out of time on that, unfortunately. But also, this could give us the blood bag, and that's very useful. Well, dare we play portable slot a little bit more before we give up on it? I think that's probably the best idea. It's been alright for us so far. It gives us more half red hearts or more full red hearts. That would be very useful. So let's uh, take eight seconds out of our day to get this, you know, min-maxed a little bit. It's faster than playing the slot machine. Slightly, at least. And this is your last hurrah, so, you know, you're really kind of letting me down. Eight cents for... Eh, eight cents for two red hearts is not awful, I guess. Map. Okay, there. Finally, we got what we were looking for there. Now we have map plus compass. That's good stuff. We have our curse room, which actually, as a result of my spirit heart, I can go to that curse room without dying. Mind you, once I lose the spirit heart, it really doesn't matter whether I die or stay alive as a result of the fact that uh, it's the same amount of HP either way. Don't kill me. It didn't kill me. That's better. We had to take it at that point. That was like a do or die, deal with the devil type item there. Of course I wanted the guppy item. Of course. But, um, hey, we got the pact out of that, which is nice. And I think it was a smart play. And it, in the end, it didn't. It actually gave us spirit hearts, which is kind of surprising. 
Well, it didn't kind of. It did give us spirit hearts. Which is still surprising. Um, definitely can check this out. Yeah, you know, Curved Horn makes me wish that I'd maybe... Oh, that was dumb. Um, Curved Horn makes me wish that I didn't really go through that song and dance to get rid of Mom's Purse. Because this would have been pretty nice. But the map is probably still better. Damage isn't our problem. It's, uh, it's just surviving, isn't it? Well, we'll get rerolls that we can use on our hourglass and hopefully get an item that's half decent that allows us a small chance at victory. Kind of don't want HP. I'd rather just have a chance to steal a deal with the devil item. And there's our charge. You know what? I'm going to blow you guys up quickly. I know bombs are precious right now, but, well, we got one extra penny out of that, so who's laughing now? We're probably not going to worry about milking this blood bank too much. I know we have a couple of red hearts that we could, you know, draw from back here. I don't think it's the right play, though. I think it's better to keep our morale high and just leave. Oh, we can't even get that one anyway. So this is the most HP we could have right now. All right. Please be good. Please be good. Surprisingly tactical run, considering how strong we were to start with. Oh, that's good. It's a damage upgrade. Not the best item, but it's uh, it's good. Especially when we have rage to carry us after we kill a couple enemies. Oh, there's another red heart back there. Oh, well. Here we go. It's the mom fight. Terrible little shot there. Shot a little too quickly. Happens to the best of us. Our relative base damage, I mean, we do have a little bit of rage built up, but it's pretty good. Yeah, I'm, I'm digging it so far. Almost some terrible damage right there. We're almost halfway through the fight already. Ooh, let's get out of the way. Not really a strong build for taking on Mom. But that's okay, as long as we don't get hit. And it doesn't, you know, numb our brain due to inactivity. Well, we got hit. But you know what? That's okay, too. That... Could have been not okay. <laughs> so the HP up is nice. I'll take it. I know I said I didn't want it. Those were hollow words. Down to the next floor. We got a spirit heart to back us up too. Okay, this is the moment. This is the, the floor of truth. That's not good enough, but we have a reroll pedestal now that we can profit from. Uh, how do we handle this? Well, for once, we're going to end up treating the, uh, the floor on the womb one the same way we treat any other floor. Where we want to get a deal with the devil. Hermit card doesn't really help us now, does it? But what that means, to me at least, is that we're going to save our spirit hearts. I should have used uh, our reroll immediately on Tammy's head. But save our spirit hearts so we can get to the boss room as quickly as possible. Don't really need that speed down. Uh, get to the boss room as quickly as possible. Don't take damage. You have these spirit hearts protecting you. Holy water is obviously terrible. But with these uh, spirit hearts protecting me, I can make it there. Not take red heart damage, ideally. Of course. Mom's Pearl is very good. A little too little too late there, but again, a good reason to take Mom's Purse. And then if we don't get a deal with the Devil, then we can come back to this Curse Room. Which is obviously uh, also of the utmost importance because of its chance to make us guppy. Alright, that's bad damage. Don't get hit again. Everybody gets one. Well, not always, but thankfully we get one. And that's the only thing that matters, right? Might as well check our secret room to see if there's an Ankh. There's not. Not in this one, at least. Maybe in the future. This is a very tense floor for me. I'm a little, little anxious here. You know, in video game terms, at least. Scapular's good enough to take, I think. Could save us a lot of heartache in the future. <sighs> this is an uncomfortably similar run to our last run. I really don't want to do the same thing and go down to Shoal again. Just because it would be it would be too similar. Got lucky these guys were going in the opposite direction that they often do. Saved me from possibly freezing in my tracks, taking some dumb damage. Okay. Oh, possibly terrible. Possibly okay. Half dead. Oh, kill him. Just kill him. Oh, hoo -hoo. okay. Well, we save our reroll here. We got plenty of chances to generate more. For the, for the old Tammy's head. Oh, no, we don't even need them because we took scapular. It paid out. Okay. So let's get as far away from these guys as we can. Most important thing. doesn't matter how quickly we finish this fight. Most important thing is just don't take damage yourself. There we go. One's dead. This is a pretty good chance to get a deal with the devil. Work with me, game. It did. It even gave me squeezy. 
for extra spirit hearts and survival. As much as I would love to just take the ability to fly, we gotta reroll both for the guppy chances. That was not me just trying to have fun. Uh, I do think that common cold is worth the 1 HP at this point in the game. If we're gonna die with 1 HP, we're gonna die with 2 HP. This actually, it gives us a good chance to do poison damage over time while enemies are frozen, which seems smart to me. Disappointed, of course, that uh, it didn't work out. I guess we could have bombed ourselves a couple of times, but I know we still have this curse room back here, which is uh, kind of giving me a little bit of hope at least. And maybe we'll get to walk back into that deal with the devil at the end of this. At the end of this floor. Sometimes it does happen that way. For whatever reason. Okay, here we go. It's gonna hurt. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> Alright, I don't, I don't like our odds too much here. But we're gonna go for broke. We're gonna try to beat Isaac this way if we just permanently uh, keep him frozen in poisons. Maybe we can do it. Turns out this Nine Lives Brimstone Gambit uh, is not really what I wanted. And I'm starting to think that this run all comes back to me not picking up Guppy's head before re-rolling it and getting Nine Lives out of it. But there's not much we can do about that except, uh, well, get ready to die nine times or fight back with everything we got against that. I take, I choose the latter if you ask me. Now, not the lat, like, the latter, not the ladder. Ladder is no good. Freeze. You're under arrest. There we go. Good stuff. At least like now, every shot from Brimstone should either be a freeze or a poison. They should have a pretty good chance to do at least one or the other. Okay. We are going to this boss trap room for sure. You know, I don't relish the thought of fighting two of the bosses that they could give us right now. Oh, fantastic. Um, but we might as well. I should have used the Two of Spades card to get out of the uh, curse room without taking an extra hit of damage. Fuck me. Why didn't I take the pills? Because I realized we're probably going to get several rerolls here, so we might as well reroll them to something that's better, which is, you know, the majority of items that we probably could have picked up there. Unfortunately, Cat of Nine Tails is not one of those items. Wow, that's weird. So we poisoned one and froze the other. So I guess it's like it's not the shot that actually carries the chance to uh, to either poison or freeze an enemy. It's actually just it, it's generated on a hit. It's kind of interesting in a dorky way. I previously assumed it was generated like when the shot fired. Okay, good. A little sneaky there. Not too thrilled to be here, but. Could get something useful. Uh, that's Kamikaze, isn't it? That's not useful at all. Does give us a closer reroll pedestal, though. As opposed to what we could be dealing with on that uh, boss trap room right now. Mind you, we've got a different pool of items in each as well. I was like... I was shitting my pants there. Look at this. I can't believe I got out of that one. Oh, oh my god. Get away. Get away! <laughs> Oh, God. Oh, okay. Don't panic. You got this. You did it. You did it. Just be cool here. All right. That was uh, extremely lucky. HP up. Friends till the end. Eh, could be worse. All right. Kamikaze gets rerolled. Thanks, by the way, for that judgment. Just when I needed you the most. Mom's pad, huh? I'm not even going to pick it up. That's how disgusted I am. All right, well, I mean, Shoal seems like the obvious play out, or the play here, um, but I disagree. Let's do this. Okay, poison and freezing. Oh my. Get the job done. We're substantially stronger than we were on the last run, which doesn't mean so much for us uh, when we're... Still not strong enough to beat the late game bosses. That was so close to me being fucked there. You should be like super dead. Thank you. That's the industry term, super dead. Also my favorite Steven Seagal and Ja Rule movie. It's weird, I've kind of thrown myself off the pattern by the all the freezing going on here. Okay, it's all good. Couple more brimstone shots. We built up a lot of rage there. All right, let's do it, shall we? Go for broke. We just did Shoal earlier. Let's do the other way this time. Now we do know... Uh, oh god! I totally forgot that I can't fly. 
Lucky me there. Um, I walked exactly over the spike. Such an idiot. We're not going to take Celtic Cross. It's too little too late for items like that to help us. We got to get something better. Mr. Boom and Razor Blade are not really what I was thinking of when, uh, when that came to mind. Okay, how do we do this? Maybe Crystal Ball shows up. Joker. Ooh. Okay, let, let's get a reroll, and then we'll use this Joker card. It's better than the Hermit, that's for sure. We could still become Guppy. With some Spirit Hearts to back us up, even. What about that? Lovers. It's pretty much worthless with only one HP. The extra Spirit Hearts are helpful. The, the Joker card could be a game winner, though. Well, a game saver, at least. This one. High Priestess. Good card. Good card. We're still taking the Joker, though. Okay, that's that. Couldn't last forever. Okay. Ah, easy room. Easy room, easy life, right, guys? Remember those carefree days? Let's see what our secret room holds. Maybe an Ankh? A one-up. I think we saved that for a potential reroll. We just needed to be a little bit better. As much as it might seem like, you know, Ankh and one-up are the same thing. They're very, very not. Well, we're ready. We're ready. Let's Joker. We have to reroll them both, unless we just want to trade one life for the ability to fly and then respawn outside of the room, which we don't. Really? That's so unfortunate. Uh, well, like, because what ended up being my choice there? I could take Remote Detonator or Sacrificial Dagger for one life. Both terrible trades. I guess not god-awful, because I'd end up being better off, but... I also don't want to remove one of those items from the pool, necessarily. Um, I don't, I don't want to remove one of those pedestals from the pool, is what I mean. Just in case we can find another Joker card and maybe get back. I guess I have maybe ruined my chances at that deal with the Devil with Guppy. We're still alive, though. Much to my surprise and occasional chagrin. What the heck hit me there? A neutral fly that shouldn't have even been there. Bullshit, bullshit, bullshit. If that was a, if that was a home stereo system, it would be bullshit home stereo system. It doesn't really, the joke doesn't totally work. Just in, enjoy life, okay? Tears down. Yeah, it's probably not something I'm too excited to take right now. My tears are up, man. They're flying. Now we want to... Why the secret room? Onk. Onk and raw liver. Dad's key is not that item. Uh, I do still have the library. I would like to reroll both of those to give ourselves the best possible chance of getting out of this. But we'll make our way down to the, the Isaac fight first. Maybe not do the Isaac fight first, but we'll make our way down. I think this is worth opening. It wasn't worth dying for and not getting anything, though. Um, maybe we'll just hold off on that for a minute. Probably a better idea, huh? Spirit Heart helps. Maybe shouldn't have taken it yet, but what's done is done, so let's just learn how to live with that. Onk or raw liver? Onk or raw liver? Onk or raw liver? Wasn't even concerned. Okay. Now we generate rerolls for our library, and we start to hope that we snag like some extra HP out of those. Should have definitely saved the Ankh, or sorry, the Spirit Heart that was on the ground now, because we could use that with the Ankh to get even more uh, HP for a life that's actually worth something. Sounds like really emotional, right? But uh, seriously, like our, our, we have four lives right now that are not worth very much at all. And that's fine, I'm, I've come to terms with that. Our Ankh life, which will be the next life we take whenever we die, uh, is by far the most important for us, though. Without any question whatsoever. Uh, oh, can still hit him in the air. Good. Come on, one more should do it. Good, 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 good. If we eke out a victory here, I'm buying myself an ice cream sundae. That's just, I'm not going to do that. Not because I have anything against ice cream sundaes. This is just a long trip to get to the ice cream sundae store. Not up for that today. I'd rather just reward myself with a nice, nice little break for a little while. It's the last video I'm recording today anyway. So I was going to get that. In. Basically what I'm getting at is I'm an ascetic, apparently. I just, uh, or an ascetic. I don't, uh, I don't take any pleasure for myself, apparently. It's not necessarily true at all. Now, what an awkward 
conversational thread we put ourselves on here, huh? Let's reroll both of these. So, this is a this is a tricky one. Why is it tricky? Well, why don't you just take the rosary? It gives you a good chance. I might, I might end up doing that, because I still want to reroll the other one. The problem is that the rosary would be so awesome to take on our onk run if we die as Isaac, or if we die as like the character that we are right now. So maybe what we actually end up doing is after this room. We go fight Isaac, and we see if we're going to live or die. We're probably going to die. How is this guy not dead? There we go. It's another tears downgrade. It's just comical at this point. Um, yeah, we fight Isaac, see if we live or die. If we die, we go get the rosary. And we'll have been hit enough to probably have a reroll charger close to it, at least. Um, yeah, okay. I don't think it's the worst idea in the world to try to, like bump this over to me. <laughs> Maybe it is the worst idea in the world. Let's try it again. Okie dokie. Careful. Oh. Well, it's terrible. But I'm very impressed that I got bounced back in the proper direction there. Alright, how do we do this? Freeze the fuck out of him. We have a full suite of orbitals. We also have poison damage. We also have okay damage. Oh, that sucks so bad. We have okay damage leading up to this. Even without rage, our damage is, is adequate, I would say. Um, so, I think we have a, a small chance of making this work, even though I did get hit right off the bat. Let's not let that sour us on this run. We have no bombs, so this is what we do here. Oh my god, those, those dodges should not have worked. Okay, we're through the first phase. This gives me a lot of hope that we're actually going to be able to make this work on our Ankh run. For real! Because we have Poison Touch, we can run up and poison him whenever we get hit. Um, we can let Cuba Meat and Guardian Angel do what they do, do a decent amount of damage. So even if we die here, with Ankh plus Rosary, I think we end up beating Isaac and getting down to the chest at least. Which is way more than I thought it was going to be possible for us. Now, we're going to have to deal with the uh, Angel Fetuses, but we're also going to get damage off of them. You know, we're going to become stronger as a result of their existence. This is the moment of truth. We made it through the second phase without getting hit. We're now, we are one-shotting Angel Fetuses. That's nice. We can build some rage quite easily here. Just... Ooh, that was scary. What's my philosophy for this fight right now? Clear a path. Anytime you see angel fetuses uh, on both directions of you, fuck. You gotta clear out one side. Alright, well, there's our Ankh play. Ankh play. Um, might want to reroll that in the future, but first things first. We're gonna be able to get up to six spirit hearts and then re. Ooh, careful, careful, careful. There's a very small but realistic chance that we could make something beautiful happen on this run. Now, there is a high priestess card in there. I think I'm going to try to get it. That seems pretty useful right now. Um, it's Lovers. High Priestess. Okay, now walk out without getting hit. Good, 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 good. Okay, this is nice. This is good. This is good. I'm getting a little, a little tingly, a little restless leg syndrome. You know what I mean? That sounded like I meant as a euphemism. Seriously, though, I'm moving my legs a lot. Um... We don't want that range upgrade. If we get hit twice against Isaac, which, let's face it, is probably the most likely outcome, uh, we'll end up uh, re-rolling that, though. And then maybe trying to get it if it's worthwhile. Ah, maybe we won't re-roll it, because we'd rather just re-roll the chest items instead more quickly. Better to, you know, get a re-roll on four items or three items at once. Let's have a High Priestess come down. Pretty much took us to the second phase right away. Did we freeze Mom's foot somehow, so it did double damage? Not sure if that's how that's supposed to work, but hey... Got the job done. No, no lump of coal holding us back here. So every time we get hit, um, we can just run in there. Brimstone, orbital damage. As good as we can. Poison touch damage, etc, etc. Why dodge right into that, right? You freaking big idiot. It's okay, though. This is, this is good. This is good. This gives me hope for Blue Baby. The, uh, the thing to note is that we are going to need more spirit hearts. So we're really going to need... Like, HP ups, or Miter's Relic, something along those lines. If we're going to end up swinging this run, 
uh, to, to complete victory. Can you freeze while an enemy's still frozen, or is it best to wait until they're unfrozen to fire that shot? I don't know. That's, that's something I wish I knew right now. Okay, we didn't become Guppy, but we're still alive here. Oh, Relic showed up. $3 bill's not good enough. But Relic showed up. That's the most important thing by far. We can get like two Spirit Hearts out of that. That might be enough if we play super well. Oh my god, and Polyphemus. Okay. Now, this is going to make Brimstone take forever to charge, but it's going to do a ton of damage. And we still got two reroll pedestals back here. That's not a room where we have to fight. This isn't a room where we have to fight. This is all great news. Let's get it charged up before we go in. Is it ready? It was ready. Probably should have killed uh, that enemy. Not then, but that's okay. This is this is good stuff right here. Attack fly will probably end up taking because we're only going to get one more reroll. Holy shit, are we going to do this? Should have killed Sloth uh, last, but just saw it and, and got tempted. Give me a spirit heart, dog. No, okay, that's fair. I gave you a choice, or I I, I came at you with a very aggressive ask and you uh, denied it. That's that's only uh, human nature. Okay. We're going to win this. We d probably definitely don't deserve to, but we're going to win this. And I'm very excited about that. And I'm very excited that I didn't pussy out and go straight to straight to Shoal when push came to shove, you know? I'm, I'm excited because I sacked up and took this to the chest. And I think it's going to end up... It looks like it's definitely going to end up working out very well for us. And we can use the Unicorn Horn like crazy on this uh, Isaac fight as well. Oh, this is a blue baby fight, I should say. Okay, I, I hate going through this room with Brimstone and Polyphemus. That being said, it's, uh, it's a small price to pay to probably get to taste from the chalice of victory here. All right, use this right away. He generates flies, so we'll actually get rage faster than we did on the last one. Or we'll get proportional rage faster. All right, freeze the shit out of him. Look at Brimstone and Polyphemus. Look at that damage. We did it. Okay, just get it charged. Takes a long time to charge each shot, but it's hard to complain when each one takes like 25% of his HP. Wow, we didn't even get hit. All right. Well, that's going to do it for that Isaac run. I'm excited. I hope you're excited as well. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. Subscribe if you want to see more in the future. And I'll see you tomorrow.